Alright, well since I have to reset this thing now and put it back together, I guess I figured I'd show you guys how to do that. I'm using, as I said before, copper wire. Usually it would be steel, probably a mild steel. It would take more force to actually fire it. I'm using copper because precisely the fact that it doesn't take much force. So I could, like you saw before, push it with my body weight and it'll actually fire it. Just so one day maybe I could try to fire a cap with it. Anyways, since I don't feel like using 200 or 300 or 400 pounds on it, we're going to go with copper. As I said before, I've tried it with um, solder. That'll actually set itself off, so you've got about a, a minute and a half before it'll actually fire itself off. If you just leave the, uh, the solder pin in. Alright, so let's get started. Enough of me just talking like that. To begin with, I'll just take this off. This is that second safety, the one you turn on the top with a key. So, we'll put that aside. The tough part of this whole assembly is you get the spring here. There is a tool from the looks of the way it's designed here. As you see, if it stops supposed to be a tool that connects and locks everything into place which would make lining up for the pin easier and probably when they were made they had just one pin on it so they drilled the hole directly and then put the pin through anyways in this case I gotta find the place where the pin hole is which is right here line this up drop it in then you take some sort of device this is an old pen obviously and what you do is you push in add some weight to it, I'm going to use my kneecap here and hope that you've aligned it I missed it there so I don't believe it's lined up properly. So, as I said, I try to align it properly again. <coughs> Put it here. You'll know right away because obviously it'll start holding properly when you got in the hole. close but it's not quite right there you go <clears throat> now it's in the hole I don't want to leave it there too long by itself so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this place it over there like that First I'll take this and I'll trim it down. So now it's trimmed, I'll tap it just to flatten it up against the hole. So there you go. Now that's gonna fit in. The whole purpose at this point is to be to get that pin back in now. So this is right out. This is supposed to go in like this so everything lines up properly. I'm going to try to turn this until it falls into place. And I think I'm almost there. I think it's got to go on. Okay, that's fallen into place. As you see. That looks like it's fallen where it's supposed to be. And now I should be able to get this pin in with a little bit of force. Maybe not. 
because it's acting up. So what you do is you push down on this. As you see, it's fine. You get the pin here. Put your pin back in like that, and you go bring it right back. All right, so now you see that is in. The safety it means it's on. I could take my ring here. With any luck, it should be fine here. So the ring is now installed. Now, if all went well up here, I should be able to put this into safe and not break the pin on it, which is always possible because it is old rusty part. So now it's in safe. That's what you would do if it was loaded and this had been pulled first thing is to try to get that into the safe position as long as it's partially there it will be safe you could feel when it comes right out of the track now this is placed here should hold in place properly like that and then I wrap the string around or the wire around so this in here is proper and now I just wrap it not to get this thing stuck on it again. When there's enough, I just wrap it around here, like originally, and that holds it all in place. Now I'm just going to take my rest of it, place it on like that, screw it into place, get the little pin here that I'm using. good enough and <clears throat> take my little protection cap thing and put it on and now it's back to its safe position its transport position anyways hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching